How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. So it's pretty convenient that I started making this video with a lot of people doing Herblore right around me. So it's pretty awesome because this is a Herblore money making method video. So I've been having a lot of videos about overnight flipping and stuff like that. And people have been asking me a lot more about how to make starter money to do those methods. So I thought, you know, a pretty easy way to do that would be to get you some money making methods. So let's do this. This is an amazing money making method like honestly this is easily one of the best uh, money making methods in the game to make money very quickly um, so i'm going to show you this one because this one actually does get a lot better around double xp time so i feel like right now is going to be a really great time to show you this so to do this method, you are going to need 99 herb lore. If you don't have that yet, that's not a big deal. This will be a great way to make all of the money back that you spend on getting 99 herb lore. So maybe it's a good thing you actually saw this video first. So let's go ahead and jump into our grand exchange. and I'll show you how to find the prices for the herbs. What we're going to need to do is buy the grimy herbs and then sell them as cleaned after we're done cleaning them. You can simply go into the Grand Exchange and instant buy a grimy herb and then instant sell it. What that means is paying way more than the average price in order to get an instant buy, uh, which is right here, and then instant selling it for a very low amount so you can see how much you could possibly buy them for. You always want to buy at this lower amount here. Uh, do not just go in and instant buy them in the Grand Exchange. As you can see right here, the difference in between those two numbers is pretty huge. And when you're cleaning tens of thousands of herbs, that is going to be several million gold that you will lose if you do not be patient with this. So what you want to do is put in a low offer. So I had an instant sell of 16.6 .6 on my grimy door feeds. By the way, do not use these prices. But they will change by the time this video comes out. And I was able to buy them for 16602. So just add a couple GP there and you'll be able to buy your grimies. In order to find out how much the cleans are going to be selling for, all you got to do is instantly buy a clean. So as you can see, I did instantly buy this clean right here for $17,499. That was last night though, so I went ahead and double checked to see what the clean dwarf weed is currently. And it is currently at $17,450. So now that we know the prices that we're going to be aiming for for our given herb, which by the way, you can use whichever herb you want to. Grimy Dwarf Weed was just the one that I used for the example in this video. You can actually use any of the herbs. Um, the more rare herbs and higher level herbs tend to have a bigger margin. I just want to like point this little tip out. But the only thing about that though is they also tend to be uh, a little bit slower moving. So if you see like Bloodweed, for example, usually has a pretty massive margin, but they can also be very slow to buy and very slow to sell sell and that margin can sometimes close a little bit. So just keep that in mind that just because it is a much larger margin does not always mean it's really good. Dwarf weed is, uh, has been pretty amazing though with a margin of something around a thousand so it's pretty awesome. What you're going to want to do to set up is going to want to take your cape. So all you have to do is just take the cape that you have equipped, your herb lore cape. It, does need, just, it doesn't have to actually have to be equipped but I would probably do that in order to keep it out of your inventory. But just drag it over to your action bar. I'm going to put this on the one on my action bar. Now the reason why I use one one is because that is where we're also going to put our preset and it's going to make things very, very easy. The rest of the gear you have equipped literally does not matter. So just have your herb lore cave equipped and then whatever else you want for your fashion scape life. And then go ahead and click on your bank. When you go into the bank, you're going to want to go and find the herbs you bought. Uh, if your bank is a mess like mine, it might be a little hard to find them. <laughs> hey, uh, I haven't had time to clean my bank. I'm too busy making videos for you guys. So what you're going to do is uh, simply click on your grimy dwarf weed or whatever else you have bought to uh, to clean. And then that will fill up your entire inventory uh, on the transfer button over here. By the way, if you click all, that is how people do it, where they click it and then it fills up all this. If you're one of those people that has it set to one and you're like, how do people uh, if you're right clicking and doing all like everyone's did for a like an eternity then maybe i just saved your life there but anyway go ahead and click on all that will uh, fill up your inventory once you have that filled up you're just going to go to presets right here so on the presets you're going to click on this little cog um, and then you just want to scroll down and find one you haven't used yet once you find one you haven't used yet go ahead and drop down and give it a, a funny name let's go ahead and call this virago just for irony and then i'm going to click on overwrite so when i do that it's going to set everything i have to the current preset right here and then all i got to do is just take virago here and we're going to pull it up to the number one spot so Boom, number one spot. Now keep in mind though, you can use these other numbers if you want to and then just preset your cape to that number, but I'm just doing number one for simplicity. So once I have Virago loaded up here, now every single time that I hit the one key inside of my bank, what it's gonna do is this right here, boom, it leaves the bank. I now have my full inventory full of grimy dwarf weed. I wanted to explain that part because I feel like um, a lot of videos just assume you know everything. And if you're a newer player coming back to, or maybe you're coming back to RuneScape and stuff, I wanna show you how to use those presets. So all you gotta do guys is now, now that you've hit one to get out of your bank, you just hit the one again. 
and then boom, as you can see instantly, all of them are cleaned. I now go back to bank, hit one, hit one, click bank, hit one, hit one, click bank, hit one, hit one, click bank, hit one, hit one. See how fast that is? It is absolutely insane. I had just cleaned 140 herbs in that amount of time. Like that was literally it. That is the entire method right there. All you gotta do is set those up so it's one, one, and then you can just click one, one, click one, one, click one, one, click one, one. It is very, very easy to actually do this uh, while watching a movie or listening to music or whatever you're doing. I mean, it's actually, you don't need to pay any attention at all. It's so easy. I know a lot of people don't try the herb cleaning method because they think it's gonna be super click intensive, but it's actually really not because you get through so many herbs at once. Really quickly to another place you can look to find the prices for the herbs is gonna be in our Discord down below. We have about 12,000 members and there's constantly people posting money-making methods and flipping advice. So we actually do have these sections right here where you can look at the clean the clean and grimy differences. So as you can see right there, the clean dwarf weed at 16.6 and the clean dwarf weed, uh, sorry, the grimy dwarf weed at 16.6 and the clean dwarf weed at 17.5. You would use the buy price right here for the grimy and then you would use the sell price right there for the clean as you can see it is basically the same number as what we found so if you want to find people that have actually already price checked these and you can see what other good uh, herbs are like right here we got grimy toad flax at 13548 and then the clean ones at 14447 that's another it's another about a thousand margin right there uh, we come down a little bit more we see like uh grimy blood weeds as i was saying they do tend to have pretty big margins uh that margin is uh 22,000 or sorry 2 <laughs> 22,000 my god 2,400 roughly on that margin, so it's pretty huge, but just keep remember, remember that those move slowly. But you guys can look in the sections down here, and, you, and uh, even if you're not flipping the herbs, you can use these to find the prices for doing uh, the herb method that we're talking about right here. So with this, you're able to clean about 60 to 70,000 herbs per hour. So that is where I'm getting the 40 million or more per hour for the title. Um, it's important to know that that number I have there is really just using kind of an average of you, you know, doing the, the bigger ones and the smaller margin ones. Um, if you're hitting a bunch of herbs that are a thousand margin each, that's going to be definitely more than 40 million per hour. Basically how I, what I did is I took a 600 GP profit each as an average and then did, did that times 70,000. That should give you about an average of what you'll earn. But if you're, like I said, if you're doing a whole bunch of really high ones, you'll actually be quite a bit above that. If you're doing a bunch of really low ones, you'll be a little bit below that. So just kind of go with that. Also, um, the cleaning speed is going to be based on how accurate you are as well as, you know, how much, you know, how long you're paying attention for because it, it does get to be a bit after a while. Um, and then as well as your internet connection. If you have a uh, kind of a laggy connection, you might find it, it takes a little bit more time for you to open and close the bank and stuff like that. And that will definitely affect your speed. So if you're sitting there and you're like, man, I've, I'm only getting 50,000 or I'm only getting 40,000, it's probably your internet connection. I know a lot of people don't want to admit that, but it, unfortunately it's a real thing. Um, so something else too with this, uh, you can clean 60 or 70,000 of them per hour, like I said. So as you can imagine, it's gonna take, uh, it might be a little bit hard for you to buy enough herbs in order to do this for a full hour, let alone a few hours because the herb buy limit is 10,000. So what I recommend doing is using all of your slots uh, to buy them overnight and then that way you're able to do it for a couple hours the next day. Um, that is probably gonna be your best bet. If you're gonna be doing that though, you need to be aware of price changes. Make sure you look at graphs and see where the herb herbs are going. If herbs are going straight down in price, then you might not wanna hold them overnight. Um, but as far as my experience has gone, if I was to buy them right now and then clean them right now, since it literally only takes a few minutes to clean a stack of 10,000 of them now, um, it is very safe actually to just go ahead and buy them and do them at the moment. But if you wanna stock them up overnight, just be aware of price changes overnight. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy this content. If you guys would like to earn 3 billion or more per month, then please please feel free to check out the Patreon page down below. It's a great way to support the channel and make a ridiculous amount of gold. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.